Thank you, your firstborn Bible Baptist Church, for inviting me to preach the Word of God tonight. I've been here, I think, third time. Third time. And I can remember Brother Jerry. We, after we have that uh, soul winning on a Saturday, that I asked him to move his membership to our church. And he was uh, a little bit sad. He looked, and then he he sat up the stair. Mm -hmm. Remember that? And then he whispered, "I was with a man of God. And who am I to uh, to stop anyone?" I said, "I will support you." Amen. 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 And I said, "Go where God wants you to go." And not the Holy Spirit, God calls a man to preach the word of God. Amen. I don't call anybody. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So God will bless you and God will support you. Amen. Amen. We will support you in prayer. Mm -hmm. That is what I look at the people that uh, he's leading now. Amen. 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 And I also met the uh, his pastor, semi pastor, Pastor um, John, Job. Job. Yeah, Pastor Job. He happens to be his uh, uh, father in law. Uh, yes. So uh, he, was a, he was a good man. As I was looking at him, and he's more handsome. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, just, uh, you know, stop uh, talking much to myself that uh, he could express uh, he has a unique quality for his uh, street English yeah without even uh, a uh, halo halo Tagalog yeah. mixed with Tagalog and I'm now uh, I am blessed to have some uh, students like Oli hey, yeah hey. I think he is well acquainted with the accent now because you are behind the Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and my there are some of my uh, uh, from my church who are Australian and brother, 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 He looks like a Filipino now. Amen. <laughs> oh my God. Amen. <laughs> and we have brother Jack. Yeah. So. Uh, but uh, we, we stay away speaking in Tagalog when they are around because uh, they might say, you are, you are speaking Pentecostal, you are Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> speaking <laughs> tongues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you have your Bibles, your uh, theme is be strong in the Lord. And it is from Ephesians chapter 6. So let's go there. Ephesians chapter 6. I like that uh, theme, be strong in the Lord. Yes. I like to deal with that tonight. Yeah. And there is an armor of God that is mentioned here. So it just be strong academically or, or theoretically. There is something that we need to apply tonight. Amen. Yeah. Now just uh, follow me as I read to verse uh, 20. Finally, I'm studying very thing. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Put on the whole, whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we are raising not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, 
and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shut with a declaration of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shells of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth bold to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in parts, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. I'll be dealing with the subject invincible Christian. Invincible Christian, that's right. Gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you for this uh, passage of the scripture. Thank you, Lord, for the church anniversary Sunday of Grand Jerry, the first born Bible Baptist Church in in Altamus or in general of Western Australia. Thank you so much, Lord, for the mission that is now growing into a church. And I pray, O God, that you may continue the blessing upon them and help them to be strong in the Lord, mature and disparate. And I pray, O God, that uh, they may be instrument of righteousness and the winning of souls in this area. I pray, O God, that they will be examples and uh, and uh, soul winners to bring lost people to your feet. I pray, O oh God, and please uh, forgive us of our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness by the blood of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Now notice in that verse, Apostle Paul is the one talking here. He has that word finally. The word finally is a conclusive word. That means there are things that that uh, Apostle Paul has or has spoken before that, and he was giving an argument. The word finally is an argument word. And he said that uh, after all these things, you see that uh, verse 1 of chapter 6, children obey your parents in the Lord. So he started with that, and now he dealt with the servant. He dealt with the father. He dealt with the parents. He dealt with the uh, masters, the bosses. And then he ended up finally my brethren. Now, to be strong in the Lord is not easy. It is not just a uh, what do you call it? Body belt, uh, you know, looking at your body belt to become strong. That is physical. The one that is uh, asked here is commanded to be strong is, is spiritual. Right, it's abstract. Things that are concrete are no weapon to stand against the enemy, which is spiritual. So that is why uh, when he said, be strong in the Lord, you need something to become strong. And he did not come short of uh, giving out the equipment to be strong in the Lord. And it, it says, and in the power of his might. Do you see that? Be strong in the law. That is personally commanding every individual Christian to be strong. But how can we be strong? In the power of his might. Amen. 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 You cannot be strong personally by yourself. That's right. You can only be strong in God. Right. And you can become a strong Christian if you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is very important. You can never be strong Christian 
until you become a Christian. That's right, amen. And one of the requirements to become a Christian is believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's very important because many, many uh, people, like uh, when I was a young boy, I idolized some young stars, boxers, right? Uh, people, karate, uh, you know, karate, like Bruce Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to uh, always uh, have to watch a movie of his when he was young. I mean, the, the, how, uh, how quick he moves. I like that. But that is physical. The, uh, the Christian is very vulnerable to a spiritual. You cannot actually use your, all your prowess, your powers, when you use that uh, uh, physical uh, ability, it is the spiritual uh, thing which is uh, given here in this uh, passage, which is verse 12, starting verse 12. He gives the reason. But the first point that I'm going to deal with, reliance on faith. Reliance means trust. You do not rely on your riches. You don't rely on your intellectual capacity. You don't rely on your own thinking. Although I am one of the uh, uh, promoters of reasoning. I am one of those uh, promoters of God logical reasoning because our Christianity, our Bible actually promotes reasoning. God is a God of reason. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, you find the words in the image of God. God created man in the image of God and in his likeness. The word image there is rationality or reason. But it is not our reason, it is God's reasoning. Amen. In, in uh, Isaiah, God challenged every one of us. Come now and let us reason, reason together. Okay? But many reason cannot bring you to God. There are lots of brilliant men and women in this world that are not saved. In fact, they are atheists. Right. This morning I brought the uh, the uh, topic of fact or fantasy about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because atheists and non-Christians, most of them, or many of them, dismiss the resurrection of Jesus Christ. In fact, they call, even, the, even some Christians, they are actually uh, uh, cajoled or influenced that uh, the Resurrection Sunday is called Easter Sunday. Now what's the difference between Resurrection and Easter? Some people say the spelling. <laughs> resurrection is longer than Easter. But if you will read the book of Acts, that is only one and only time that you will read the book of Acts with the word Easter. I did not explain that this morning. I just uh, focus on the five evidences for the fact that Jesus Christ is risen. So we have here uh, God is very particular with us on the reliance of His Bible, of His Scripture. Faith is based as described and stated in the Bible. Amen. It is not our making. Faith is not our making. You may accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But it is not your own choosing. He has chosen you before the foundation of the world. Amen. That you will accept David. That I am accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. Faith is a gift given by God. 
Right. There are lots of, of people who are brilliant, logical, intellectual, who has PhDs, who has masters, who are university degrees, yet they cannot believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Why? Because of that faith. They, they want to believe in Jesus, but they cannot because of intellectual ground that they cannot get rid of that thinking that they can reach God by the reason that they possess. But the Bible says, For ye are saved by grace through intellect. Faith! Right. Amen. Not intellect. Faith in God. You can never be strong if you have no faith in God. And the Bible is for by faith are you saved through faith and that not of yourself it is what? The gift of God. Not a gift of your friend. It is God's doing. It is man receiving. Amen. Hey! Amen. <laughs> yeah. God's doing. Man receive. Yeah. Man. So it is not correct. I've been looking for God. It might be true. But God has been looking for me. Amen. 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 And that is why once you are saved, you are saved for it. Amen. Do you know why? Because if it is based on your effort, you will be tired right. of clinging to God. Right. Oh, I found God. I will cling to Him. If you will have a coronavirus, you will be troubled. <laughs> you will remove your cling to God. But even if there is coronavirus, if God is the one holding you, no matter how you swing, and if you want to go back to hell, you will never be him. Right. Wow! Amen. God holds you. Amen. God keeps you. Amen. God saves you. Amen. Amen. That is faith. Amen. Good job. Faith. Reliance on faith. Number two. Reason for faith. Why do we need to have to be strong? It's because we need to have faith in God. We need to rely on faith. We need why do we need to rely on faith? There is a reason for that. Look at verse 12. Or, is it that word or? The equivalent of that word or means because. How many children do we have here? Children are asking their mom and dad, they are small. Why? Why? And then the wise mom and dad are like, because. <laughs> and then they, they didn't uh, actually put the, the uh, continuation of that statement. If they will have because, okay. <laughs> yeah. Why is it? Because. <laughs> Mom, why? Because. <laughs> that word for is actually presenting a logical argument. For what? Why do we need to get saved? Why do we, do we need to get strong in the Lord? Why do we need to uh, have faith in God? Because, look at that, we reason not against faith. Mm. Yeah. Ah, so there is something to do with that faith. Faith is not material. It is spiritual. Yeah. We reason not flesh and blood. What is flesh and blood? What is the short of blood? Physical. Reason. That means reason. How many reason? How, how many have seen wrestling? Yeah. yeah. When you reason, you actually tackle it. You try to tackle your enemy. Yeah, and pick him down. That is reason. But this wrestling is not reason. It is spiritual. Yeah. You cannot see your enemy. Mm -hmm. That is a big trouble. And that is why we need that faith. Yeah. Because faith can see. 
God is the reason. Look at the next uh, statement of that. For we are reason not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. What are principalities? Some people uh, committed some terrorism. It's about school principles. No, it is not about school principles. <laughs> principles, school principle. I mean, against principalities is what? These are demonic spirits. In the uh, demonic kingdom, the Sita, the Satan's kingdom, the Satanic kingdom, there are degrees or categories of demons. They were angels before. Right. When Lucifer was kicked out of heaven, he had a whole a collection of followers. And they are also angels. But when they were kicked out of heaven, they turned Satan and demons. Mm. And these are categories, principalities. Is a category of demons. And you cannot sell it. I cannot. Sometimes these uh, uh, demons come to you in physical form. How many have seen Miss Jennifer Hawkins? Mm. Uh, yeah. In physical form. How many are attracted to beautiful and handsome guys? Yeah. How many have uh, this, uh, this uh, problem in Australia and sometimes I'm attacked on Facebook about when I do comment with uh, L B T Q Q. L G B T. L G B T. Even if you will ask them if they have issues, they will deny. They are well. They have that human rights. And it is very important to find out the truth of the scripture. Because if we will base our judgment on what our government says, they are wrong. There is nothing wrong. You're right. But if you look at what God says in the scripture, there is something wrong. Right. And the Bible in the book of Romans, actually, God gave them up yes. to their uncleanness. <laughs> and uh, a preacher or a pastor that preaches the word of God need not be intimidated about what the government or what the United Nations are doing or what the uh, other people are doing. You need to stick to the word of God. Amen. You will never be strong if you listen to the police. You will listen to what they say. You will listen to the United Nations. You will know, listen to anybody else except what the word of God says. That's right. Amen. Reason is very important. Why do I need to do this? Why do I need to go to that Baptist church? There is a there is a closer church in here. I may do uh, just uh, become a member of that church. If you want to be strong in the Lord, you go to a church that fixes the Word of God. Amen. It doesn't depend on how close the church to you. It depends on how your heart is close to God. Amen. That's right. It doesn't matter physical distance. If you are strong in the Lord, you look at what God commands you to do. Not what your emotion commands you. How many have emotions here? Amen. Thank you for your answer. 
<laughs> I've got emotion. Sometimes I, I burst out in emotion, and even my preaching is passionate sometimes. Mm -hmm. I hope I can control it. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I was passionate. I was passionate yesterday, and I mean, this morning, and one woke up. Yeah. I'm very passionate when it comes to God's work. Amen. There's nothing wrong to be in passionate as long as it is all the world of God. Amen. And it is all your service to God. We need people who are passionate Christians. Amen. A passionate Christian cannot be stopped by any factor or element in coming to church. Clouds, dark clouds, no car, nothing will stop you from going to church. Amen. God, brother, dead, brother, dead lives from here. Yeah, he's living in now. Uh, What's your Good That is how many kilometers? Uh, 130. 130. Wow. Just to go to Metropolitan Bible Baptist. Oh, hey! hey! Amen. <laughs> Amen. It is an encouragement. That's right. And you are not alone, brother. A long member before. I mean, long to go. Brother. Jerry. He can, he is this in Jenkins. How much? How much? I don't know. He can to our church. <laughs> Almost every Sunday, he was in church. Until the time that he told me, God calls me to preach. Right. Yeah. So, brother, it's an indication if you can go to church this far the distance and it's still you are faithful to God. Nobody. Amen. You are non stoppable <laughs> and you are called invincible Christian. I did not define the word invincible. The word invincible is non-stoppable. Mm -hmm. Non-stoppable Christian. Invincible Christian. You can survive because you are a strong in love. You have the word of God in your soul. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, these are categories. Spiritual wickedness. Against the rulers of the darkness. Rulers of darkness. Against principalities. Against powers. These are kinds or categories of demonic influences. Now, you may not be the, the actual uh, doer of demons or satanic or wickedness. But you see the result of the influences. If somebody comes to you and convince you that Jesus is not God, guess who he is? Guess who he is? He is an instrument of that demon or satanic spirit. If somebody stopped you from giving your tithes and offerings, which are commanded in the scripture, Amen. Right. you are under the influence of that demonic spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many have human rights? <laughs> come on now, come on. Ah, it's my human rights, Pastor! If it is my human rights, I can just stop going to church, or I can go to church at my own will. If you are using your will to reject God, it is not God's will. Amen. God's will is to serve God. Amen. There is no God's will to depart from God. It's always God that gives us the uh, challenge to serve Him. Against principalities. That is the reason for faith. Now let's go to the next one. So that we can finish and get the dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 
I know some of you are looking for that dinner. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the resources. We have the reliance on faith. We have the reason for faith. And now we have the resources by faith. What is or what are those resources? Resources are what? Equipment, tool, material that you can use to serve God, to become strong in the Lord. You will never become strong in the Lord unless you have this sex. What? Five and six resources. And two times the whole armor of God is actually mentioned. The first time it is mentioned where? Verse 11. The second time is verse 13. Look at that. Put on the whole armor of God. What is the meaning of the word whole? Oh! Yeah! How many have the King James Bible? In your arm? Yeah, that is one talk. One talk. There are some so called Christians. Your pastor, I'm a Christian. That's your Bible. United? No, I have no Bible. Speak for it. How come you find truth if you have no Bible? Don't them the what? Number one talk. Verse 40. Stand therefore having your loins. What is loins? Wise. You are, you are a, you know, you are a kiwi. Wise. Wait. Okay? Wait. Ah, how many are kiwis here? Alright? The waves of the city pull us the waves of the city. Yeah. So we have waves. That is truth. According to the verse, verse 14, is stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. That is belt of truth. I've got a bit. In martial arts, I am fifth dan black belt in karate. In Aikido, I am seeing Dan Black Belt. And now I have a uh, leather belt. Middle belt. <laughs> but it's not black, it is brown. I brown. brown. It is uh, dark brown. <laughs> yeah. But some people, it's just like me, it looks black. Mm. Yeah. They cannot see the truth. See? The most important today to find out to become strong is to know that you know the cross. Amen. What is the cross? Is that uh, practicing the LBT or is the cross? Mm -hmm. No. God created human beings only two categories. Right. Man and woman. Yeah, right. Adam and yeah. Eve. Where did you get the third one? <laughs> Somebody said from his state. Adam and state. <laughs> there is no A. What? A disgusting, a destruction in our lives. That is one of the contributory factors why there is no more truth. Today, truth is only true to you and not true to me. What is true to me is not true to you. In Vigam Tagalog, what do you say? Pira, okay to you. Pira, hindi lang tatalog sa akin. Yeah, it is okay for you, but it will not work for me. But who is the truth? The truth is not an object. And the truth is not a thing. The truth is a person. Amen. John 14, verse 6. The Bible says, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the one. The truth. And 
Angela. Amen. The truth is not a chair. It's not even a philosophy. It's not a life. The truth is a vision. Jesus Christ. Amen. That is why it is important that you have that belt of truth. Now what is a belt? The Bible says in verse 14, get about. What is that? Having your loins get about with us all around. Yeah. If you remove that belt, you are not get about with truth. We always live putting our cinturon, our belt. Mm -hmm. Right? But the Bible says there is what? When you is left, you have to remove your, your girt. No, it doesn't. We need to wear every day, mm -hmm. at all times, the truth. If you have the truth, you will never be the same. Amen. You are a strong Christian only if you have a belt of trust. And the word of God is the testament of God's truth. Amen. Yeah. You need to have, if you have no copy of the King James Bible, I recommend you to have a copy of the King James Bible. Amen. Even somebody will come and tell you about something, you will not be cheated. You will not be betrayed. You will not be deceived if you have the word of God in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Get around the doors. Bell of doors, second. So, put on the whole armor, not just one. How many of them? There are six. If you count, how many go that uh, counting? There are six. Second, breastplate of righteousness. What does uh, verse 14 say? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. You have got the belt. You have now the breastplate. What is the use of the breastplate? For you, right? We are not going to picnic here. How many have got picnic last Friday? Yeah? Were you prepared? You know, we are in a battleground. And God commanded us to pack the whole armor. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God, not yours, not a Bell Gates uh, whole armor, which is Microsoft. <laughs> or E. I. How many likes E. R. <laughs> no, I like I like the sound of E. I. Yeah. Some people are uh, are uh, already uh, what do you call it uh, converted to Facebook. Yeah. They cannot sleep without Facebook. And this is a warning for us because we complain when it is Sunday, on Saturday night, one of the factors in my case, when I was a good practitioner of Facebook, one of the factors of uh, headaches or, or my migraine, I spent a lot of time until 2 o'clock chasing those, uh, what do you call it? Thumbs up, likes, I mean, did somebody dislike, mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep, and then I was listening, I, I tried to, my best to sleep, and there, there's something that I read in my mirror, uh -huh. where's my book? Do you do that with this book? Hello? If you concentrate on Facebook, you are awake. Right. If you concentrate on this, you will be strong. Amen. And this is the belt of trust, the breastplate of righteousness. Breast, a breastplate is one to what? To guard the attacks of the devil. In front, the devil strikes you front and back and the side. All these, these 
tool equipment of this armor is to guard every corner of our life. That is why you have in verse 15 gospel of peace. And your faith shared with the preparation of the gospel of peace. How many are my anything? You are easily angry. Somebody has, uh, you are driving, and somebody has swept into your life without one. What is your reaction? Cheese day. Filipino, he will talk. But if you have the gospel of Christ, when somebody shows up, what do you do? Hi. I love you. You are ready to turn up war. You have, you are ready with the gospel of peace. Amen. Remember, the Christians are peacemakers. Amen. 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 How can you be a peacemaker if you are the first one to be angered and run? You cannot. That is a talk. Somebody has uh, angered you? Just to get a snack. Yeah. That is just a snack to make you a bitter Christian. What did God say the first word when he was hanging on the cross? What did he say? Father, forgive them for they are good. No. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. My paraphrase. You need to forgive those people. And if you have a gospel of peace, you are ready to forgive. Amen. Only God is ready to forgive without money. Some, some of us uh, Christians or human beings, you are ready to forgive, but there is money. Karma. <laughs> what is karma? I think the brother. <laughs> you will see the penalty. That is the curse. You, you, you are ready to forgive, yet you have a. You have in your heart a bitter bitterness, and you express that word karma. Or what is karma means? Curse. You express your <laughs> Yes. But if you are a professional from Christian, that language is outside of Christianity. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not do it. Was he sinful? Was he worth to go to the cross? No. He did not sin. It was not his sin that he was crucified by the cross. Yet, he was able to forgive. What kind of reasoning is that? It is out of reason. Yep. That is why with only reason you cannot be strong. Right, amen. You need faith in God. Praise point of righteousness, belt of trust, gospel of peace, shield of faith. What is a shield? We have already a breastplate. A shield of us in Goliath's uh, drawing. Yeah? How how big, how large Goliath's uh, shield? It was big. Yeah, it was big. That if you cover, the whole body is covered by the touch. Yeah. We need that shield. And that is what we are talking about the faith. I have been discussing reliance on faith, reason for faith, resources by faith. You have shell of faith, then why shell of faith? You cannot actually get 
they create equipment which is the belt of truth without faith. We, you cannot have the breastplate of righteousness without faith. Okay? You cannot have the gospel of peace without faith. And then the seal of faith is up to the very In verse 16, not verse 16. Above all, how many understand about all? Yeah, above all, that means what? Yeah. Above all that I have mentioned already, the most important is your faith. Meaning you must be a Christian. Trying to apply the belt of trust. And the United Nations is trying to do that. Remember during the pandemic, they have the faith news. Yeah. And they have the other things that they say. And what is trust? They say faith news. And what was faith news? It was the trust. Wow! We Christians understand that because they have no faith in God. Their trust is according to their own opinion. But our trust is according to God's word. Amen. Faith is very important to self faith. Then what else? Verse 17, helmet of salvation. Do you see the logic? You cannot be saved without you cannot have salvation without faith. Helmet. Well, what does the helmet do? To protect your head. Why the head? Why not uh, you know the, the shoes of salvation? Your head is very important. Man, human being uh, is composed of three elements. Body, soul, and spirit. The body is the flesh. Okay. The soul is the one that moves your flesh. Why oh, I like that Bina? I'm excited, Pastor. Get rid of that message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is the soul. I like to see what I appreciate your testimonies. That is the soul. But the spirit is the one that communicates to God. It is the one that understands this book. The natural mind is it is not the things of God because they are soullessly is that so is spiritual understanding grasping meaning some people even Christians some people say I have no meaning what what am I doing what I'm wasting my time in this Baptist church why it's because he has no grasp he has no understanding Understanding is spiritual. You can only have understanding if you have the helmet of salvation. If men you are saved, you have faith in God. And last, I like that last. Soul of the Spirit. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. The soul of the spirit is very important. You are very good at talking, you are very good at talking. But you have no soul. Where is your soul? What is the soul? My soul is the King James Bible. How many of you have soul? Can I see your souls? Amen. 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 Well done. Praise God. It is the God. Goliath. The soul of God. What did David say when he fought Goliath? I am coming to you 
Not because I am a handsome guy, I am a big guy. I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. Hey! Daddy, where did he learn from? He did not learn from the University of God. I was double your He did not learn it from it is called university. He learned from the field of the word of God. Man. We have here resources. Lots. Verse 8. Praying always. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching therefore with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Pray or pray or pray is very If you are to become a strong Christian, you need to be a good and prayerful Christian. Amen. You cannot see a strong Christian who is not saved. Look and study the individuals in the Old Testament and New Testament. They are all three. In fact, they get up early to worship God, to communicate to God. Prayer is communication. That is response in faith. You cannot, but if you are a true Christian, kneel down and pray and be a Christian. It is an indispensable part, responsibility for us Christians. Wow! Prayer connects you to God. A good soldier who is always on the go is always linked or connected to the commanding general or the commander in military. We Christians, if we want to be strong, we need to be always linked to God, connected to God in prayer. How many remember when Jesus was Tempted by Satan. When did the devil attack Jesus? After he prayed. And God was very strong at that time. What did he do? Three times he was actually attacked. Yet, Christ said, it is written. Amen. It is written. What is the equivalent expression in our Australian contemporary? The Bible says so. How about if you don't know yourself? Can you say the sword says? Yeah? You need to know the sword. How about if you have only one of these and you have no truth? How can you know that there is something true? You can have. The Bible declares in Hosea 4 says, My people are becoming rich because of knowledge. That's what it Messiah says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That means they know, know the truth. How many, how many so-called Christians are destroyed by the devil? If they don't know the truth. The first casualty in Genesis, who is the first casualty? Eve. Eve was the first casualty. And he continues to have casualties. That is why the only solution is to be strong in the Lord. Yeah. With the sex equipment, you are in full combat. Yeah. We are not in a holiday. How many, how many thoughts that we are in holiday since we become a Christian? No, Christianity is not a holiday. Right. It's a battle to fight. Amen. Every one of us, every Christian, should be a soldier. In fact, it was a possible to say, be a good soldier. Enjoy what? 
hardness. What is in your heart? In your what? Suffering. In your trial. In your Don't be scared to enjoy. God is always in your side. Amen. If you are reliant on faith, reasonable faith, resources by faith, and response in faith. To pray. You are here, sir. You have no faith. You cannot apply all this equipment. You cannot be strong in your own faith. So tonight, I am recommending you to get fed from the Lord Jesus Christ by accepting Him as your Lord and Savior. Let's bow our hands. I ask you to please all stand up. I ask you to please close your eyes and bow your heads. The message was very clear. Very clear. You need faith. Now as...